so freaking frustrated. So I'm going off script because I've been at this for over a year and I've got <laughs> I got a few things to say. So I want you to listen up. Do you have any idea how much work it takes to put one of these videos together? Seriously, I spent over 12 hours on one stupid freaking video. Not including all my research or thumbnail design, spending a crap ton of time on content that gets no traction. <laughs> don't, don't even get started on me about ranking in YouTube search. Cause check this out. I've actually made a video about Casey Neistat and optimized it. I was number, I was number, wait, look, listen. I was number two in search. Guess who was number one? Casey Neistat, ha! Same damn thing for the Kerry Manani video. I could teach you how to optimize a video. And I'm talking about super saturated keywords too. For all the good it'll do you, every single YouTube video that I have made since the new year has been ranked. So it's gotta, so it's gotta be the, so, so it's gotta be the thumbnails, right? Guess again. The truth is, I've tested them. I have given these suckers over to big time YouTube content creators who all said they were awesome. I give up. Screw thumbnails and ranking in YouTube search. Doesn't matter apparently. 12 hours down the drain. Not like YouTube is picking who is gonna make it on their platform. That's just fuck me. So this crap freaking stupid, it freaking sucks because it just makes us feel, these little guys feel completely frustrated. Small creators put the time, the grind, and we just put everything into it and we get almost nothing in return. We get nothing in return. And you wonder why sub for sub stuff starts happening. Creators know it's fake engagement. So yeah, I mean, people like James Cox, you know, people that do sub for subs things, you know, just sub for sub, which isn't good. They're egomaniacs sometimes, and yeah, of course, they sometimes seem like they have a stick up their ass. <laughs> and, and we all know it hurts channels. At least they're doing something. And, and if you're worried about me getting demonetized, <laughs> gotta get monetized first. guys. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's put this down, let's put this down for a second. Yeah, yeah come here, now, now listen up. Does this sound like YouTube has completely broken me? I don't know, maybe it's just because the only people that seem to make it on YouTube are either young, rich, a teenage girl, attractive, not a middle-aged, balding, chipped tooth, overweight, overworked, fat ass, who's been told that all he has to do to make it, yeah, this is the secret, here you go guys, ready? Be genuine. 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 <laughs> Really? I mean, let me just break this down for you. So let's just say you want to capture your day, just the most genuine thing possible. Well, go ahead and pop a toothbrush in your mouth, hit record, and then it cuts to me, the freaking editor, who then systematically takes every boring moment completely out of the video. Taking out all post-production would be the most genuine thing you could do, which by the way, That's what this would look like. If you edit your videos, listen, I mean, if you do any of this, nobody is 100% genuine. It's probably my most genuine video. And let's be honest, guys, have you seen any outtakes? I've been doing this now for an entire year. And guess what? Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> that is it. After countless hours of research, filming, giving creators shout outs, uh, promoting, doing the sub for sub deal, quitting that and learning SEO, a production, thumbnail design, video templates, you know, from the experts. And at the end of the day, no matter what I learn or what I improve on, Fuck. Turns out this guy just ain't lucky enough. Nobody at YouTube cares what I do. And you know, that I can understand. I mean, seriously, I mean, who am I? And I could forgive all of it and just keep creating for the love of it because I really do love it. I mean, you know, if it, if it wasn't for all those creators that banned with you in the beginning of your journey, who then just stopped engaging with you because they had a little taste of success. You know who you are. Yeah, and then they don't even engage your tweets anymore and only respond to those bigger channels, larger audiences, leaving the rest of us to wonder what the hell we did wrong. So why am I ranting like this? You know, sounding like a spoiled ass bitch because this is what small creators struggle with every single day. We create, we grind, we freaking push ourselves. With most of us honestly getting little to no engagement worth a damn. So if you're a creator, if YouTube pays your bills either at HQ or on the platform, even if you're just like me, I mean, I mean seriously, let's put this down for a second here. Listen up. I am beyond serious about this. Don't forget who we are. That we wrestle with this shit all the time and still create 
regardless. So we would like to be treated as equals. With an ounce, I mean, seriously, just with an ounce of respect, you know. Buddy. So YouTube, why don't you treat us the same way you treat those big money makers? Creators, I need you to stop it. I mean, I need you to freaking stop it, you little son of a- Stop leaving those inappropriate comments. I mean, seriously, you douchebags. You've got enough, we've got enough to worry about. Okay, rant over.